All right, what's up, guys? This is my uh, second tutorial today on how to rebase and remaster music. This is the second one on rebasing music, which is different than remastering. Um, so first thing, what we're going to do is we're going to um, figure out a song we want, and then what we're going to do is we're going to type that into Google. So I'm going to say, oh, I want to rebase um, Britney Spears. Um, B R I T Britney Spears, and then we're gonna type in dot M I D I. Okay, so that's gonna take us to these two websites right here, CoolMidi.com and FreeMidi.org. These these are um, like basically like MIDI like dispensaries, I guess you might want to call it. Um, so then. What we're going to do, you're going to find your track you like. Um, here, that one's a good one. Got all kinds of crazy Mac Keeper pop-ups pop and junk. So basically, you're going to find your file. Right-click and click Download File. And then close that out. And then here's the hard part. So you need a, um, you need a music program. I use Ableton Live. Yes, I bought this version. I actually own this um, and all that good stuff. Um, so I definitely suggest you get something good such as Ableton, which has strong um, producing and stuff like that uh, tools. Um, so let's see here. So if you're unfamiliar to Ableton, um, I suggest you go watch to other people's tutorials. This is going to be confusing today. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up a project file I already have saved. So once you have um, a blank um, blank project open, you're going to drag and drop in your uh, your music track. This is the, the music track I've selected here. Um, and then time stretch it into... into um, into sync with uh, with your tempo and then you're gonna drag and drop your MIDI file and this is basically what MIDI is it's basically like electronic sheet music here's what it looks like this is it's just basically a bunch of bars and these black and white keys here represent black and white keys on a piano so um yeah, so these are the actual bass notes um, being played uh, through the electronic instrument here, and um, <clears throat> you know, uh, you know, these are the different keys, these are the different lengths and stuff like that. Um, uh, so without really going into detail, it's basically just electronic sheet music that you're typing in with your mouse and stuff like that. You can, uh, you have a you have like a keyboard and you know you can play your, your piano notes and record it <coughs> and then it shows up on the screen there and then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need a, a synthesizer you're gonna need a digital or analog whichever um, whichever one I this is the one I use I found it on Google for free at like a MIDI website um, a VST website you wanna call it this one is called Telectro 2. Um, so then first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set our oscillator 1, um, our pitch adjustments centered, and then our phase and uh, pulse width are going to be all the way down. Make sure you're on a sine wave. <clears throat> oscillator 2 and sub are going to be turned off. Um, you're going to, on the mixer section, we're going to uh, make sure oscillator 1 is all the way up and oscillator 2, 3 and noise are all the way down 2 and slide are centered and bottomed out uh, poly is off that means we're only going to play one note at a time which is what you want for bass and then volume is just going to be basically be centered and then just turn down a little bit our filter section here we're going to want to do it uh, low pass so we have two low passes and high, um, a high pass and a band pass. We're just going to want to do 24 dB low pass. Cut off centered. You can actually go a little bit below centered. Uh, resonance and key all the way down. Contour centered. Uh, release sustain all the way up. Attack and decay all the way down. 
Um, you're going to want all five of these mod wheels to be turned all the way down. Envelope section you want attack to be turned all the way down and then just up a few pixels. Decay and sustain bottomed out and maxed out. And release is going to be kind of judgmental to the song you're doing. Um, usually centered and then maybe up just a little bit is going to be fine. Um, attack is going to be, or this is um, not significant. It's You can select the, the different um, path for that. Just make sure the intensity is all the way down. And same thing for our LFO sections. We have intensity all the way down. <coughs> So then we have our notes here being played through our synthesizer here. Um, then basically that synthesizer is not exactly flat response. So we have um, an EQ here. This is the Apple audio unit um, that comes with your computer. Um, you're just going to do a slight bit of EQing. You're going to listen to it. And you're going to pull up a spectrum analyzer. Um, what I do is I select the range from 0 to negative 10 and make sure you're um, on the, uh, like the, um, uh, you know, the whatchamacallit is all the way maxed out. Um, and then, so we're going to basically, uh, we're going to make our track and then we're going to do two exports. So we're going to do an export on the first track, which is this track, and then we're going to make sure that's good high quality, one or 441, and we're going to make sure that it's not on mono, and we're going to export that. And then the next thing we're going to do is export the bottom track, which is this track. Uh, we're going to make sure that is on mono, because we want bass to be mono. So I've already done that. I'm going to quit out of this. So we're going to open the mids and highs track in Audacity. So there's our mids and highs track. And then we're going to drag and drop our bass track into the same project. So there we go, that there is from Ableton into Audacity now. And um, so then basically what we're going to do is going to redo what we did on the remastering tutorial. We're going to double check that our mids and highs are where are, you know, the level we want them to be at. We're going to be, um, you know, making them smooth, making them clean. We're going to high pass them, um, just make sure they're clean and smooth and loud as we want, but not too loud. Uh, we're going to do the same with the bass track. We're going to low pass them, we're going to clean them up, and we're going to do, you know, slight compression and then low pass them to uh, declip them. And then we're going to do the same thing we did. We're going to set the gains, you know, turn the gains down to where we need them, about negative four and about negative six or seven. Um, you're going to find, you know, every track's a little different. Um, uh, how how much um, like uh, the pitch of the bass um, will react differently with the mids and highs and the mid bass and stuff like that. So basically, it's just going to be a learning process throughout your you know throughout every single track you do. Every track you're going to learn something new. You're going to get a better understanding, and you're going to really um, you know get get a better feel of the music you're working on and and how it's being played through your system in your car and stuff like that so basically um yeah that's it really um i guess i'm just blabbing on right now so yeah just have fun with it um you know just if you can't find midi on google then you're gonna have to make it that's the really hard part um you know i've been working on songs for like two three four days or a week or more just trying to get the bass dialed in um, so if you're feeling like fatigued and listening fatigue, just save it, close it out, and then come back like the next day and, and, and try it again, you know, just keep on going. You need fresh ears to really get an understanding of what sounds good. 
Uh, you don't want just constant bass all the time. You want something musical with, you know, range. You don't want just, like, one note all the time. Um, so, yeah, I guess, uh, Inclined, signing out.